Alright guys, I'm back with an updated unenrolling video. Um, the other methods might not work anymore because many manufacturers are switching to M.2 drives. So they have a TPM which is protecting the enrollment on the drive itself. So you're going to have to do a little couple more steps and it might be a little more expensive. So you're going to have to find a replacement for the drive. Um, it just matters the length or if you don't want to worry about that, you can just buy the same exact one. You can just Google it. You can find them. Usually there's one manufacturer that makes it for a bunch. So 12 bucks, not too much for getting your Chromebook unenrolled. So what you're going to do is you're going to get that, which we have, and then you're going to find a screw. Now this screw allows you to change things in the BIOS. And it's going to be different on most Chromebooks, but you're going to find a screw that isn't really attached to anything. So you can see these are for the heat sinks, the hinge, motherboard. These are for the case. And looking around, I can see this one. Now if you look at it, you can see that it's grounded. And it doesn't need to be grounded there because it doesn't attach to anything. So when you take it out, you can see it's a big flat screw. And all it's doing is grounding, which you don't really need that. Yes, you need your motherboard to be grounded, but that's usually dealt with the power. So if you look at that, that's actually... This allows you to read and write to the BIOS of your computer. So you're going to take that out and then you're going to open up your Chromebook and you're going to go to the Chrome store and download the Chromebook Recovery Utility. So you're going to download this and you're going to pop in an SD card or a USB drive. It's going to download Chrome OS and then you're going to swap the drive. So once you have the drive swapped, it'll show up like Chrome OS is missing or damaged, which it is, so that's good. Um, you'll see it pop up. So it'll pop up with this screen. That's when you put the USB drive in, and I'll go through the whole install process. And once that's done, you can go back, you can turn your computer off, and then you just put your little screw in. Not all computers have this screw, um, but you're just going to put the screw back. Screw it down and you are good to go. You just unenrolled the computer and it's 100% yours now. And if you're ever in the scenario where you need it to be unenrolled, so if they have special apps or something for testing, all you do is pop the drive back. You don't need to take the screw out for this time, but pop the drive back in and you're good to go. It's re-enrolled. So you can just hot swap them to unenroll between home and school if you want. So there you guys go. For about 12 bucks, you can now unenroll a high-end Chromebook. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video.